Now, yesterday, David Cameron used Prime Minister's questions to attack the Labour Party for readmitting into their ranks someone who the PM said had defended both Islamic State and the 9-11 hijackers. In a moment, we'll be talking to the man in question, but first, here is the Prime Minister yesterday. Domestically, we're protecting uh, counterterrorism policing and investing in our intelligence and security services, as we did in the last parliament. In terms of Iraq and Syria, we are making good progress at pushing Daesh back. So this is something we need to do both domestically and overseas. But I have to say, Mr. Speaker, I was completely appalled to see yesterday that the Labour Party has readmitted someone to their party who says, and I believe, that the 9-11 suicide bombers, and I quote, must never be condemned, and belongs to an organisation that says we defend the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. Those are appalling views, and I hope the Leader of the Opposition will throw this person out of the party rather than welcoming him in. Well, I'm joined now by Jerry Downing, who was expelled from the Labour Party again last night because of what the Labour Party said was, quote, further evidence that has come to light. Welcome to the programme. We'll come on to 9-11 Islamic State in, in a minute, but the, your organisation that, that you're part of, Socialist Fight, it says, we stand with Karl Marx, uh, we support revolutionary socialism. So why do you want to be in the Labour Party? Because the Labour Party is the party of the working class in Britain. Traditionally, uh, it has been that party of the working class. Uh, it's linked to the trade unions and, and organically it, it reflects the, 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 the class consciousness of the class itself. Would it be fair to say though, that you would see uh, being a member of the Labour Party, though, is a tactical uh, move that, in your view, a, a bourgeois party like the Labour Party couldn't in itself bring about the kind of changes you want? Uh, it, it, can, it can bring about some of the changes, of course, but it, it cannot uh, actually um, get rid of capitalism itself. But it can advance the, the, the cause of the working class seriously. Uh, and the, working, the cause of the working class has been uh, in decline now since uh, 1997, I believe, under Callaghan, when the, the, the Gini coefficient shows the balance of wealth flowing from the poor to the rich uh, since, since that period. Do you work with Labour people at, at the moment? Uh, uh, and we've got some footage of you on a, a, a platform here with uh, John McDonnell, the shadow, shadow uh, chancellor uh, there. Are you quite close to John McDonnell? No, I, I'm not a, a personal friend of his. That, that, that was a, 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 a dispute at my workplace where, where I was sacked uh, unjustly. Uh, and he came to defend me because uh, we had met in the Labour Representation Committee uh, and he actually stood on a picket line outside the, the bus garage and, and that... Uh, uh, secured my reinstatement in my job. So, so uh, he, he, he secured some justice for me and I was very pleased. But do, I'm not a personal friend of his as such. Do you work with uh, many Labour people? Uh, I, I, I'm a member of the, the, the Brent um, Central um, uh, Labour Party and, and, and on, on the GC. Oh, you're a member of the, the Labour Party? Well, I had been. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Until last night. But by the way, uh, uh, everybody tells me I was expelled last night. But I've uh, not told you. Nobody has uh, bothered to inform me. There's, there's no uh, now the prime communication whatsoever. So. The Prime Minister yesterday said that uh, you had defended the 9-11 hijackers and you said that had been taken out of context. Uh, had it? Yes, and, and indeed. Look, I don't support politically the ISIS. I don't support the 9-11 the, the, the attack uh, in any way whatsoever. Uh, what I was doing was to explain the reasons for it. Mm. Uh, and the reasons for the, 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 the attack are basically what uh, imperialism did in the Middle East. But you, you did write, the uh, writing of the 9-11 attack, you said it's the justified outrage of the oppressed uh, as opposed to the outrage of the oppressor. Uh, the first, you say, is progressive, no matter how distorted. And then you said, must never be condemned. That is the entirely understandable motivation for 9-11 and suicide bombers? Yes, well, I would explain it in this way. Uh, back in 1996, Madeleine Albright was asked uh, what she thought of the fact that a half a million Iraqi children had died because of the uh, san US sanctions. Uh, and she was asked if she thought that the, the price was worth it. And she said, this is a very hard choice, but the price we think the price is worth it. It would be pos and, and possible the, to be appalled by Madeleine Albright's uh, reply, though, and, and not say the 9-11 bombers should, not, should never be condemned. I think you'd have to say 
that uh, in those circumstances, the first thing you have to do is to understand why that happened. Uh, it didn't happen because these are, are, are madmen or because they're lunatics or because they're bad people. It happened because they were outraged at what had happened to their land. So would you not... Though most of the 9-11 bombers came from Saudi Arabia. So that it. Uh, uh, but do you still not condemn the 9-11 attack? I, would, I wouldn't use the phrase condemn. Because uh, I, I think that, uh, like old Brock Spinoza said, I have striven not to laugh at human actions, not to weep at them, not to hate them, but to understand them. So, and if you if, understand what happened and why it happened... So you would understand rather than condemn? Yes, yes, I would right. understand the, the motivation for the people that did that. The, the article itself that's referred to, actually, is an article that, that says that the, the um, ridiculous conspiracy theories... Uh, about nine. No, I read that. I've read that you, you, you attacked the conspiracy uh, uh, theories. Uh, on Islamic State, uh, the Prime Minister again mentioned that you had supported Islamic State. And in, in terms of tactical military assistance, you do, don't you? No, I don't. Well, let me... I don't support them militarily. Uh, 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 in any way, or politically well, in any way. Can I put the quote to you yes, then? Yes, yes. From your, your, uh, your group that, that you're a key member of. You say, we give no political support. You mentioned the Taliban, the Sunni and Shia, uh, Hamas, Fatah, Gaddafi, as was, as you say, Assad, the Islamic State. You say, we give no military support to, to that, but we recognize that US-led world imperialism is the main enemy of humanity. So we do advocate critical support and tactical military assistance from the working class to all those fighting for the defeat of imperialism, referring to all the groups above, meaning Islamic State. Well, if you take what has happened in, in uh, Afghanistan, in Libya, in Syria and in Iraq, uh, the, these countries were all bombed by, by America. Cool. These countries had their... their uh, infrastructure totally degraded, uh, over a million people killed apparently uh, in, in, in Iraq, uh, and so, it has produced n absolutely no progressive outlooks. These states got no democracy, they got no I, advance in their culture, they're I, worse now than it was when, when that happened. I understand that a very legitimate line of art, and very many people across the political spectrum would well share that. But you say, as a result of that, therefore, that you advocate critical support and tactical military assistance to groups like the Islamic State. Tac tactical support uh, means that we are opposed to the U.S. bombing of them. Uh, we, we would not and be what, for, 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 for the U.S. I, because, first of all, U.S. bombing uh, involves the killing of what they call collateral damage. That, that is a vast indeed. number of... Of civilians. And what about tactical military assistance for them? What would that require in, in, involved? Uh, well, if you, if you analyse uh, world imperialism as, as the main enemy, you, you always oppose its actions. I mean, that, that follows logically. You also uh, said... You would be... OK, sorry. You, 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 you would always be uh, for driving out US imperialism from the Middle East, etc. Would... You've also said that we need to confront the Jewish question. What, what is the Jewish question? Well, the fact that, that uh, Israel can commit uh, absolutely heinous crimes against the, the Palestinians, they, they, they can bomb them without let or hindrance, uh, and this is presented uh, in the Western media as, as uh, yeah. uh, an attack on terrorists. But isn't, that's Israel. That's not the Jewish question. It's not... It, <laughs> It's not the Jew... It, it is Zionism as such, right? Well, you, uh, it's, it's, I, I'm, well, interested, well, I'm interested because you, you, you talk about Zionism a lot. You, you say, uh, and your group says, that Zionism plays a major role in politics of all the advanced capitalist countries. Yes. You say that Zionists are behind the witch hunt against Germany. Corbyn, you say that Zionists hold great sway over our three main political uh, parties. You say that Zionism is in the vanguard of injecting anti-Muslim hatred into Western politics. You say Zionism is in the vanguard role in the capitalist offensive against the workers. It would sound, when you see all that, that for you the Jewish question is a Zionist conspiracy.
No, it's not a Zionist conspiracy. Doesn't all that add up to a conspiracy? No, it doesn't. Uh, it, it, it adds up to something very material, and that is the number of millionaires and billionaires uh, of, 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 of Zionist persuasion within the American ruling class and within the, within the, the European ruling classes in general. Uh, it is their economic and political power. Uh, that that uh, leads to ridiculous situations. But you think that Zionists, as you call them, yep. play a key role in that? No, they obviously p do play a key role. They, they have dual citizenship, uh, in fact, most of them. Isn't that uh, very reminiscent of what uh, the Nazis said in Germany in the 1930s, that there were these rich Jews controlling the German economy? Indeed, no. It, it, look, it's, 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 it, look, if you want to take what Netanyahu says, Netanyahu says that uh, actually the Holocaust was caused by the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, Jerusalem but, and, and not by the Nazis. But, but, but with uh, respect, uh, I, I don't have Nat Mr. Netanyahu to interview, and I could yes, well yes, put right. that point. I have but, you. And I just think if you, if you list all these things that you accuse of, of Zionism, it sounds very much... Uh, I, I don't want to push the too far, yeah, but yeah. There, I would suggest people listening to this may they'll they'll hear shades of the protocols of Zion. No, I would reject absolutely the protocols of Zion. This this is based on a material political uh, uh, facts of, of of the overwhelming political uh, authority of of of. Uh, Zionist politicians within within the ruling classes of America and, and Europe. It is is not to do with with their 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 actual right. uh, Jewish origins. Or something. You've you've been listening to this. Are, are, are you? I I suspect you are happy. I may be preempting this that Mr. Downing is not in the Labour Party now. Absolutely justified outrages, tactical support for ISIS, the Jewish question. I'm a member of the Labour Party. I'm absolutely delighted you're not. I hope they'll call you this afternoon just to confirm that you're no longer a member of the, of the Labour Party because there's absolutely no place in the Labour Party for those views. Neither is there, in fact, on your less toxic but still nevertheless non-Labour views about revolutionary socialism. The Labour Party is a reformist party. It is not committed to the overthrow of capitalism. Trade unions are remedial organisations to get a better deal for their workers, and very good institutions they are too. But they are not revolutionary organisations, and therefore, given that alone, you have no place in the Labour Party. Mr. Downing, I'll give you the final word. All right. Uh, I, I believe the, uh, one of the motivations for, for readmitting me in the, uh, at the time was, was that uh, politicians like Keir Hardy, uh, uh, etc., uh, said some, some things very similar to that in the past. And, and the ambition to overthrow capitalism is a very legitimate political ambition if you take you, the state of the planet today. And you feel Mr. Corbyn's Labour Party is, is, is mo a more welcoming party for your sort of socialism? I, I think it should be welcoming. If, if, if it allows in uh, uh, UKIP councillors uh, who, who defect and if it allows in people from, from, from the, the, the far right of that nature, I cannot see why you shouldn't allow in people like me. Will you appeal against the decision? I will, of course. All right. Mr. Downey, thank you for being with us. Thank you.